Well, just minutes from the Comanche Caddo County line on the other side of the Wichita Mountains, the tiny Oklahoma town of Cyril continues to search for four year old Athena Brownfield, who's been missing for several days now. It's been days of searching and uncertainty in Cyril, with little in the way of updates as the time since Athena was reported missing just drags on, and it's left a lot of folks wondering when this investigation is going to start building some steam. Josh Hoggard was in Cyril today and has the update for us. As the search for missing four-year-old Athena Brownfield moves toward its fourth day, authorities in Surreal, Oklahoma, announced their first arrest in the investigation. Alicia Adams was arrested today at 4.12 p.m. on two counts of child neglect. The counts are related to the two sisters, four and five who were in her and her husband's care. According to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, Athena has been missing since Sunday, January 8th. And it was a postal worker who found Athena's five-year-old sister near their residence right here on West Nebraska Avenue. That was on Monday, and Athena wasn't reported missing until Tuesday. And Thursday marked another day of searching, praying, and hoping for the citizens of Cyril. At this point, the investigation into her whereabouts continues. We are actually getting tips from across Oklahoma as well as multiple other states. And after the Oklahoma Highway Patrol and its army of volunteers finished their grid search on Wednesday, the streets of Cyril, once full with searchers, now looks more like a ghost town. But the search is expanding to surrounding towns and OHP officials expect it to spread even further. Every square inch of town has been walked and eyes have been put on it. The investigation will expand outside of this town and will continue to move. That's just a natural next step. Now, as the search for Athena drags on, authorities need information more than volunteers. Community members are offering a $1,000 reward for information that leads authorities to Athena. Our analysts and our team of multiple law enforcement agencies are reviewing surveillance video from around town and again, pursuing any tip that comes in, following it up and um, trying to identify any clues that can be used to locate Athena. All in the hopes that Athena is found safe, sound, and soon. Josh Hoggard, KFDX 3 News. Gosh, we sure hope so. We we'll sure do. Be sure to stay with us on air and online for the very latest in this case. Stay with us. We'll be right back.